I don't have. Ran after his ass ain't walk out that block. Went to go get that blick for his ass. Damn. <laughs> hey, look. Y'all already know what's going on. We is in the building, man. As soon as y'all get up in here, make sure y'all smash the like button. Say what's number like y'all is. Y'all see the title. Y'all see the thumbnail. We is in here talking about FBG Pressure and Gyro City Mikey and FBG Butter, too. So, look. Everybody, man, you know, this shit been going on. Y'all been seeing it. Y'all been following this shit. This shit like the saga continues type shit. So, everybody know. Butter was beefing with uh, Gyro City Mikey and all the uh, little Taekwon World shorties and shit like that. So Mikey and the shorties, they end up walking over by Lil P crib and, you know, FDG pressure crib. And, you know, when they was walking up to his crib, you know, from the looks of the camera and from the shit that Mikey and the shorties were saying, you know, uh, Lil P was outside. And when he seen them walking up, you know, his ass ran in the crib. Lil P ran in the crib and saying, you know, Mikey and everybody got the tweaking and then it just went viral about how Lil P ran up in the crib. So Lil P responded, man. Lil P called in the middle of FBG Butter interview or FBG Butter called Lil P in the, in the middle of his interview. And you know, I guess he let Lil P clear up, clear his name, you know what I'm saying? Clear the air on the situation. And what Lil P said is that, you know, I went to get the, I went to get the, uh, I went to get my, what's the name? I went to get gun. I went to get pipe, man. I went to get, I went to get my, uh, I went to get decent real fast. Since shorties didn't want to be walking on my block, I had to go get, you know? So Lil P said he was going to get his gun, bro. You know, he wasn't running on no scary shit. It's like, you know, Mikey, he got a name. Shorty and them, they ass be toting pipes and shit. Mikey be toting pipes, you know? So it's like, he already know what time it is. So it's like, for you to not have no pipe on you, when Shorty and them walking up with pipes and y'all into it, you would be crazy to not go get your shit, fool. I don't care if you walk to go get it, run to go get it. It'd be better if you run to go get it. You know what I'm saying? The faster, the better. You know, the sooner you can get your gun, when Shorty and them walking up to you with guns and y'all into it, the better. You know, so that's what Lil P say. And he say, so Lil P say, you know, Mikey, uh, Mikey knew not to walk up that block. He say, Mikey knew not to walk up that block, like not to keep walking. He knew not to keep walking because like, he already knew what I was going in the crib to get. And whole time, you know, they really just finessed the internet and made it, made it seem like I ran on some scary shit. The whole time, I ran in the crib to go get gun and shit like that. And you know, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I just wanna put this out there. If FBG Butter called him so he could say that on the interview, it's like, man, I don't know, man. I feel like Butter them brought Lil P into his shit. Cause this shit, like, they wasn't on shit with Lil P. Like, Mikey, the little Taekwondo world shorties, like, Lil P live in the hood type shit. He live on they shit. So it was like, you know, they wasn't on shit with him. They was on something with Butter, you know? And it's like, you know, uh, ever since Lil P brought him over to uh, 63rd to do that on the couch, teeth on the sofa, my bad. Ever since Lil P brought him over there to do that on the sofa TV interview, and you know, after he was banned, it wasn't even, it wasn't even, a, uh, it wasn't even a, a on the sofa TV interview that really just jumped this shit all the way, for real. It was what Butter had said in the middle of that video where he was addressing the FYBs. Butter hopped on video like, yeah, man, y'all FYB is tweaking with J-Main. I'm finna get on y'all ass. Y'all seen what I just did to Shorty them on Jaro. Y'all seen how I just treated Shorty them. It was that, bro. Like him saying like, yeah, God damn it, I just I just treated Shorty them on Jaro. Y'all seen what I just, him saying that shit, bro. It's like that shit what really just jumped off this shit. And now, you know, now Lil P in this shit. Cause you know, they, they walking around the hood, you know, trying to make butter look bad and shit like that. And they ass, goddammit, um, 
they looking at Lil P on some guilty by association shit. It's like you brought him over here. Now after, you brought him over here after we banned him. Then after the interview, he hopping on video talking about he just showed us and he just did all this shit. So now we damn near on your ass for the shit that he's saying. And you know what I'm saying? He damn near, you know, he making this shit, he dragging this shit out. And it's like, you still live over here. Like, we can't get to him. So when we damn near, you know what I'm saying? We see you, we damn near finna take out on some Mimo shit. It's like, all right. Zoo and them couldn't get the memo, so they knocked up. They they beat the shit out of Milio. Same shit right here. Mikey and them can't get the butter, so they on Lil P ass. And it's like, and now butter calling Lil P in the middle of the interview, like yeah. And now this shit that now is finna keep going, cause Lil P he damn near on some gangster shit now. He like yeah. Mikey knew not to come up that block. I had that blick. I had that gun for him. I had you know what I'm saying, like. I was trying to give him what he was looking for if he kept walking. And it's like, now Mikey got to come back. You don't fold him. So it's like, yeah, man, butter, you bogus for bringing Lil P in this shit, bro. Like, you was in the hood off a of Lil P name, and you took that shit, and now you just stirred up some bullshit, and you don't even live over there. But Lil P live right there. All of them know where he live. They, that's what, like, they ass, they ass, they ass, they ass walk that way. Not just because 63rd and St. Lawrence, they was walking that way, you know, in hopes of running into Lil P, and they did. And now, you know what I'm saying? Now this shit finna keep going. But you the one who got this ball rolling like the way how it is, bro. Like, you know, you bogus for bringing Lil P in your shit, bro. Like, that's all I'm gonna say about that. But, uh, yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this shit in the comment section. If y'all made it to this point, make sure y'all smash the like button. Shout out everybody on my MVP list. Y'all see the list that's on the screen. If y'all want to get on my MVP list, all you got to do is support by getting some OTM merch or just support through PayPal or Cash App. I do update my list daily, so if you support today, your name will be on the list tomorrow. And at the end of all my episodes, I shout out everybody that's on my list. So with that being said, biggest shout out to Rony M, Run the Plays, and Uno Jojo, man. Y'all already know what's going on. Shout out everybody. Keep putting up. Brought some money out, I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me, they throw their phone, they be like, fuck this. Smoking big granddaddy, look for them overstuff my blood and shit.